My name is Giles Shi. I'm president and CEO of Bioresource International. My father is a co-founder in the company and he is the inventor of the technologies. I have to credit him for being kind of entrepreneurial in the very beginning. It takes a certain amount of vision to kind of see things where they could be or where there isn't anything yet. He was doing some studies to convert poultry waste into energy, biogas energy, and he noticed that the feathers that fell into the manure that went into the digester would disappear. And so being kind of an entrepreneurial scientist, he said there must be some kind of bacteria or microbe that can digest the feathers. He knew the feathers are made out of protein. And so he had the idea and the brainstorm to take something from nature and use it in, in some unique and helpful way to grow the industry. And from that genesis of that initial project now has spawned two products that we sell commercially. As the, the cost of, uh, of animal production increases, uh, using enzymes like ours saves a lot of money. And so we thought, well, we're just a small company, but we have a, a unique technology and then we can put some pieces together and just see how far we could take it the idea of trying to do something that was impactful. That was what drove me to start the business with my father. I was finishing up my PhD in microbiology at Emory University in Atlanta and just didn't see myself working in the lab for the rest of my career and I wanted to do something that had an immediate impact and had value and so this seemed to be a good opportunity and I figured well how hard can it be compared to graduate school? <laughs> Turns out it's uh, hard in a different way but it was a, been a, a very good process for us to to go through. One of the unintended consequences of running this business, starting it with my father and growing into this stage, is that we have developed a newfound respect for each other, a new relationship that isn't often achievable between a father and son, typically. And I won't lie, there were some difficult points, especially in the beginning of the company, where we had to make a lot of quick decisions without a lot of information, without a lot of experience. And it was almost based on opinion and, and gut, and we would often have differences about opinion and we can joke about this now. I would go over to my parents house for dinner on a Sunday evening and we used to call them the Sunday night fights because uh, invariably we'd start talking about uh, business for BRI and have difference of opinion and start to you know get more and more heated and, and uh, uh, my mom um, would have to kind of step in and kind of settle us down a bit. What made it successful was that we put it out there we didn't hold any strong resentment or hard feelings against each other. What we were all doing was trying to go forward and do the best for the business. I never took a business course ever before I started the company and I just learned by doing and being persistent and diligent and being honest about what I could and couldn't do. So I tell people that you just need to get started, just go and do it, and you learn as you go. The other part of it is working with my father and being able to take something that's essentially um, a family uh, business and, and grow it and scale it to something that is it's now uh, beyond the scope of what we ever thought was possible.